what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to reports, there's a rising number of landlords in the U.S. asking female tenants for sexual favors in exchange for rent. U.S. immigration attorney Kevin Block spoke on the matter. He said that he's particularly concerned about the number of reported incidents because reported incidents mean there's a greater number of unreported incidents. He said that when these women ask the landlord about the rent for the month, the landlords are going, hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. It's also reported that of renters in the U.S., only 69% of them were able to pay their rent on April 1st. This is mainly because companies are shutting down, furloughs, and layoffs, all as a result of the coronavirus pandemic lockdown. Where we at with this fam? That should be greater scrutiny put on these people at this type of, you know, during these times, right? You know, anytime you take advantage of people during a crisis, I think they need to bring the hammer down. Now, this is going to be a little, this is going to be a strange situation here. You know, this is not an easy fix because even before the pandemic, you got to know that there was probably some exchanges in services. You dig what I'm saying? So, is this prostitution? Like if a woman agrees to something like that, is that prostitution? It's got, this got me thinking all over the place. And this is a bad idea for landlords. I'm gonna tell you why. Even if a woman was down with something like this, it's a bad idea because once you go down that rabbit hole, after the lockdown is lifted, after everything returns to normal, there's going to be times when she say, well, you know, hey, rent due. I sure could use this money to do something else. Or I just don't have the money. Like a little something, something. Now, she has him by the nuts because if he's already had sex with her for money, she can say, and I won't even just say he, because now you got the she's too. So if he or she has already had sex with her for money, now she can use that as leverage to say she was sexually assaulted. Bad idea. I want my money. I want my money. I've had female tenants and I don't play those type of games. Like, we're going to keep it professional. I don't get down like that. Like, we're going to keep it strictly professional because I don't need you trying to pay me with sex because if I'm paying, if you're paying me, then I probably have a mortgage and I got to pay somebody. And, you know, I ain't prostituting pay bills. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it professional. But what say you? Some of y'all, y'all might think that's a good little deal, you know? You know, I know some people that go in debt behind sex. Yeah, they got to have it. Like, yeah, I run the whole company in the ground for this sex. You know, you know, got people out there that use the company credit card, charging thirty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars on on strip clubs. Buying women's stuff, you know, with the company credit card. <laughs> People do a whole lot of crazy things for sex. But what say you? And this is what I really want to know. Which of you out there would actually accept the offer? And who would make the offer? I know you're out there. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.